Hey everyone, let's talk about greenhouse cucumbers for a minute. Um, you can technically grow almost any variety in a greenhouse, but preferably you're going to be looking for varieties that can handle the heat of a greenhouse. You want a variety that is parthenocarpic. Um, parthenocarpic means that it does not need a pollinator. So that is excellent for a greenhouse because sometimes getting your pollinators in the greenhouse is a chore. Um, you can obviously uh, buy bumblebees and so forth to put in your greenhouse or hope that the native bees come in. That's always an option. Uh, but there's so many very good parthenocarpic varieties out there that are great producers that it's easy to get a hold of them and easy to use those. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, now, two of my favorite cucumbers are baked alpha and munchers. And they're both the same style. It's just one's a, a more uniform version of the other. And there's another hundred varieties that are like that so why grow cucumbers in a greenhouse one you can control the environment you can control the water you can control the fertilizer in detail um, drip irrigation is handy in the in your greenhouse and that's what we do is drip I'm getting ready to expand and do another planting on the other side of this greenhouse. That will be a determinate tomato. Um, we'll use a determinate one over there because I've only got a six foot sidewall. And so the determinate won't get much taller than six foot. So I'll be able to plant out and let them grow and do their thing. And then once they produce their tomatoes, I'll pull them out. But back to what we're on right here, which is greenhouse cucumbers turn you around and show you what I got okay I have just cleaned this raised bed up and I'm going to be planting bait alphas in here um, the what I currently had seeded that were uh, parthenocarpic I've got a lot of parthenocarpic varieties and I've got several of them planted in another uh, what's going to be our big greenhouse that we don't have coverage yet but this one our parthenocarpic varieties here uh, I had a choice between bait alpha and muncher which I just told you are both basically the same and uh, suyo longs I had available um, but I didn't want to plant a suyo long right here because I wanted one of those two of that style so that's what we're going to do right here is uh, the bait alphas and then I'm probably going to come back and here this is getting ready to go out. I will probably plant the suyo longs there. And I will trellis these at a slight angle up. And that way they can uh, grow up the wire and then back down. Um, once they get to the top wire, I'll show you what we'll do there when we get there. But for now, let me show you how we're going to plant. So, hang on just a second. Now, I love these trays. I can't find my camera stand, so you're going to have to bear with me here. Somebody thought they were helping and picked it up and didn't put it where it was supposed to go. So you'll see I've already got my drip on. I'm already pre-moistening the soil. Now what I prepared this soil with is uh, some uh, kicking chicken, which is a chicken and cow manure compost. It's a real light fertilizer. It's about a, I think a 333. And then I have came back. You see I got a little leak back there on that one. I'm going to have to pull that out and put a piece of tape on it to slow that down. Um, but then I came back and went over this with mushroom compost. And then I'm going to go over it with a fertilizer also. So this will get us going. So on these, you see I've got a salt and pepper that's a white cucumber that actually grows real well in the greenhouse it needs a pollinator i think but it grows real well we grew them last year and a bait alpha and a parisian pickling so the bait alphas in this tray is what i'm looking for 
so you can see we've already got true leaves so we are ready to plant it's hard to do one-handed but so what I'll do is go right beside my dripper let me see we're gonna be there 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 so I am actually going to go on this side and what I'm going to do is plant two and I want to be close to that dripper and then I'm going to come up here and plant another one up here and that way we'll have two drippers on each side of that one and two drippers on each side of this one so let me grab another one now this one isn't moist so the soil is not going to want to stay together So like I said, and I'm just going to make a little hole, drop that cucumber right into it, and you won't believe how fast these take off. Alright, I'm going to get this uh, put in, and I'll bring you back and show you. Okay? Hang loose. Okay, we've got them planted. As you can see, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. Now, for the average person, 12 cucumber plants, once they get to producing in a greenhouse variety, and under the greenhouse conditions, will produce more than you want. So, that's for the average person. Now, if you're wanting to pickle, and these, these varieties are able, they're a dual purpose. You, they're great for fresh eating and great for pickling. Now, as you can probably see, we got a roughly an 18 inch spacing, 18 to 24 is what you're looking for. And I will show you as these grow, we'll bring you back and show you how to trellis them and what to do there. So make sure you like and subscribe so you can see what's going on as they mature. Um, see here behind us, greenhouse tomatoes I got a video on this on when we planted them and I've got a, another video or two on pruning and care but as you can probably see they are doing quite well we've got a lot of tomatoes maturing on the vine I am exceptionally impressed with the Clementine's productivity. Now this is a small, let me get the leaf out of the way, a small two ounce tomato. But hopefully you can see the production there. And then my first time growing those and this is my first time with the big Dina you can see that big Dina and that's around an 8 ounce tomato these are probably around seven, 6 ounces right now but they're uh, getting ready to start turning and put on that last weight here we have some pink wonders so, very happy very happy all these greenhouse varieties are doing well if I've got one that I'm not terribly impressed with so far it's the edox um, you know here's what we've got now that being said I've only got a few edox here's another one and so not a lot to compare them to but time will tell now another one I'm very impressed with is the Carolina
I mean, look at that. Massive, massive roots. But anyway, I will let this drip run just a little bit longer. So these guys get watered in very well. I've got an emitter here that is not working. It's barely drizzling. So I am going to have to change it. Clean it out, get it fixed. But other than that, we're looking good. All right, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps us and we'll bring you on to the show you how it goes.